aside from the binary system that the computer uses extensively, they also use other things which is not really simple. So I'll just erase this and we'll talk about these other numerical systems which are not really that simple. The first one is hexadecimal or hex. This is a base 16 number meaning it has the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 then it has the number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 because it has 16 different numbers and here we have 10 different numbers so how do we represent 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 they are represented using these A, B, C, D, E, F right? so for simplicity I will just write 16 here base 16 right? 16, base 16, base 16 right? which are equivalent respectively to base 10 of 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 respectively right so that is this is base 16 this is base 10 which is what we are familiar with when and how do they do this or, or when would this hexadecimal numerical system be used for example they are used for colors right uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right so this is this is black and this is white in the RGB system, right? We can talk more about the RGB system during class, right? If you want. So this is one such complicated uh, way of using the number. The other concept that I would like to talk to you about is the floating point notation. Floating point is where they take the point and they float it. It's like the computer, let's say, computer A. Computer A has this numerical system space dot space 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 right and computer B has this numerical system um, space space dot space space right so when you give them numbers, let's say you give them the number 7 or 79 or 0 0.082 or 987.88 Whatever number you give them uh, okay. Maybe I should write it here Maybe I should write it like this instead right? 79 or 7 right? Whatever numbers you have here, technically speaking, the the decimal point is here, point zero 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 like that, right? But whatever numbers you give them, they will make it so that it fits into their system. For example, A will do it like this, right? A will do it like this: seven point zero 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 times ten point zero. B will do it like this 70.00 times uh, 10 to the negative 1 and 79 7.900 times 10 to the 1 right. here 79.00 times 10 to the 0 right. similarly um, 0 0.082 sorry I was halfway to writing 0 which is wrong right 8.200 remember there must be there must be three spaces right times 10 to of negative 2 the negative 2 or negative 3 right uh, 1 uh, 0 1 2 yeah. and here it becomes maybe I should use this instead 82.00 times 10 to negative 4. Okay. Is it 4? 4 or 3? My three. Three. mistake. Okay. This is 
always one less than this. Okay. And here it becomes 7.879 times 10 to the 2, right, which is 800. Right. And here it becomes 78.79 times 10 to the 1. And so this is the system for computer A. This is the system for computer B. In short, the floating point notation means that they take the decimal point and they float it. In the case of 7, it stays here. For B, on the other hand, it floats it. The decimal point gets floated to go to a different location. Here again, here it gets floated. Here it stays there. Here it gets floated quite further away, you know, it's like uh, two places. Here is three places, one, two, three places. Okay. So the decimal point gets floated, and this is called the floating point notation. Another, you can say, complicated task that the computer can do.